Hey guys, how's it going today? Uh, I've got a video review here on a new launcher that is called Aviate. So let me just kind of show it to you really quick. You can get it right here. Aviate Beta Invite Only. And you can download it and install it. Then you have to like sign up for it or have somebody send you an invite. But that is what we're working with right here. And let me go ahead and just show you guys this uh, this launcher. It's pretty It's pretty slick. So I'm going to go through as much as I can uh, with you and give you as much detail on it as I can. So we'll kind of go screen by screen. So over here you have spaces. And the point of spaces is it sets up your screen over here more or less with different features. So for example, if you go to home, now this main screen, when you pull it down, has these features right here. Weather and alarms and things like that. If you go to work, it has a new set of features, maybe some applications, some emails, some events. And I think you guys are getting the point here. Settings, you can see that it has battery, maybe things you think you might need for settings. I added this torch widget right there, which is uh, pretty cool. You can turn on and off your flashlight. If you hold down, you can see you can um, add more stuff in here. So if you want to add a widget, you just tap the add widget. And what else could we add to this? Sure, digital clock. And it's right there. And you can move around and rearrange your page. And then just tap away off of that stuff. And you can see what you're working with. So that's basically how it functions when it comes to these spaces over here on the side. Um, pretty, pretty simple, really, uh, how, that, how that actually works. It basically what it does is changes is is right here is these settings right here when you swipe down. Um, so on here you can see I got a picture on here. I've got a search bar and then these are my favorite apps. And you can only you can rearrange them just by dragging them. You can only have um, ten favorites here on this device in this screen. So if we scroll over, this is collections and collections works by auto grouping your applications. You can also edit them. Um, so if, if you have a collection and you want to edit it, you just come in here or you want something from this collection like this into that collection, you can see you can move them around. But it auto does it for you and it really groups pretty well actually normally. Um, one of the other things, things that I saw that was kind of neat is if you click on this new It'll just auto suggest things that go in that category. So games or like you said, so on music. If you had music, it would auto suggest music applications, things that would be in that category. So that's kind of neat. I really kind of like that feature obviously as well. Um, again, if you want to rearrange things, you can rearrange where they're, how they're laid out on here. If you want to have more categories, you can come in here and turn them on. So if you want to add a settings category, hit OK. And there you go, there's your settings category at the bottom. So pretty sweet. If we swipe over one more time, this is like our app drawer. Uh, this is everything, it's alphabetical. And you can also just touch on the side and skip around which is pretty nice if you have lots of apps in your app drawer. So there is no real actual app drawer. That is your app drawer. It's always this last screen on the right. Collections. Then you're like basically like your home screen, which your pictures and things like that. And if you put widgets in, this is where they would be also. So if you want to add a widget, we'll add another widget in here really quick. What would be a good widget? Wi-Fi toggle, there you go. Okay, so that's done. Tap the screen. And now you have that widget in there as well. It's shrunk down your pictures though, and now my Android guy looks bad, so I, I'm, I'm gonna remove that one. There we go. Um, so there you go. That's basically Aviate. It's pretty simple. There isn't really too much else to it. Um, I do like how it auto kind of comes up with things and suggests stuff for you. The other thing I will show you is you can go to theme and it'll now be this light theme and and it looks just a little different i don't see really too much other customization with the coloring i wish it had a little bit more 
Um, but uh, the dark theme actually I really like, so I'll probably just end up leaving it on that because I think it looks pretty slick. So guys, there you go. That is Aviate Launcher for Android. Hope you guys like this little review. As always, Root Junkie out.